You're looking at 900 horsepower. Warm it up before we go out. Hi, it's Ken, CR Nets Motorsports. Trivia question. When was it invented? Why was it invented? Who invented it? And what is it used for and still used today for? Answer to that question. Atlas Rockets. Convair, a division of uh, General Dynamics in the mid-50s, came up with the rocket program Atlas. Atlas rockets were designed for intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, nukes. Had two problems. The hulls of the rockets were made of stainless steel, about a dime thick. And they would be affected by the salt air from both Cape Canaveral and now even Vandenberg on the coast of California. Not to mention they had to be protected from the elements within the silos themselves all throughout the U.S. So WD is water displacement. 40, number 40th try, their 40th uh, formula, which was accepted. General Dynamics in the 60s made it available to the public. And the uh, Rocket Chemical Company was the producer and manufacturer. And current sales are roughly 100 million a year in sales. The Atlas program still exists to this day. Uh, it's being replaced by a new technology. It went from General Dynamics and went to Lockheed Martin, and now they call it the United Launch Association, ULA. And uh, they're in charge of the program. So, a little trivia, something you didn't know, something you use every day, you probably take for granted. And uh, it's part of our national defense strategy. And it's also a handyman's uh, savior. Without it and duct tape, we wouldn't make it. So, thanks. Eastwood aluminum prep and cleaner, 28 bucks a quart plus freight. Does a good job. Spray it on, let it sit, seven, ten minutes. Scrub it if you get the opportunity. Rinse it off. Uh, I do it three times, and then after the final rinse, I uh, go over it with a Dawn soap and uh, to remove any residue of it. Good product pleased with it and it gives you good results. Not perfect, not going to cure everything, you're going to have to put physical effort in it, but it helps quite a bit. I did these aluminum case pieces and the engine itself. They were terrible, disgusting. And so what I did is I washed them down with the aluminum then I wire wheeled them and then buffed them out when I could with the buffer on the grinder. Alright? Not that bad. It looks good. If you want perfection, you can uh, wet sand them like 1000 grit and then clear coat them. That's perfection. There's a guy on YouTube, I think they're from Sri Lanka, and they do some incredible work in, you know, a third world country. They do it all by hand. But I don't have that time uh, availability to me. And this looks pretty damn good. A hell of a lot better than what it started with. Perfection, no. Very good, yes. Okay, you got your grinder. And usually they'll come with a, uh, a stone wheel and maybe a wire wheel. But the stones are fine, they're for metal work. And uh, I will say for hard plastics, uh, if you need to make something and you got a precise fit, try it, it works. But the wire wheel, I set up for polishing, I got one side wire and one side the uh, buffing pad. Wire wheel, 8 inch, okay. I double these up. I don't know what this is, a quarter inch maybe. So I double them up so I got about a half inch. It seems to work for me. Just be careful, wear eye protection. These things fly off and they'll stick in you, stick in your clothes, and uh, it, you know, you don't want to mess with your eyesight. So that's what I do there. 
uh, it works out pretty good. And in fact, I'm doing it. Just be careful. If you got a uh, edge and the wheel catches it, it'll rip it clean out of your hands, or a bolt will go flying. And of course, it always lands in some place you'll never find it. So be very careful. Okay, that's uh, it's a good tool though. It's a great tool. Got to have one. Buffing pads. I got two types. This is made out of recycled clothes, and it's uh, it works well. It's kind of rough. It kind of cuts fast when you're buffing. Uh, I do not like it because it the fibers just fly everywhere and right up your nose. I recommend wearing a mask when you're buffing because that soot gets in the air and you'll be blowing black snot for a month. So this. Eh, not a big fan. Big fan. The white cotton. Again, quarter inch, I double them up to about a half inch. Does perfect for me. I mean, it, it suits everything I need to do. And uh, it works out well. Respirator would be good. Um, and gloves, because when you buff, it gets warm. So those fingers, you'll find out real quick <laughs> when you've overheated something. On the buffing pad, you've got to use a buffing compound. They come in colors, okay? Black being the coarsest, white being the finest, and there's like a rouge, and I think there's one other color. Uh, and one says for stainless steel, one's for aluminum, and one's for steel. The black pretty much does everything. It does it pretty good, but it, it's uh, an aggressive cutter. The rouge is recommended for aluminum, so I said, hey, I'll buy me a big bar because I'll go through a lot of it. Actually, I haven't gone through that much. They last a long time. This is Eastwood. Um, you can buy a shorter bar, and I've had these for years, and, and they work just fine. Not a problem at all, except it's a little pricey. This, I, I'll put the link below, but it, it was inexpensive, but it's... It will last me for the rest of my life. Okay, let's talk about polishing creams. I, uh, I've taken this down and uh, put it on. The, I wire wheeled it, put it on the buffer, cleaned it. It's ready to go back on the engine. So once I get the engine totally assembled, I bought myself. I think eighteen dollars on Amazon. I'll put the link below. There's a gazillion ones on Amazon. These look to be okay. I guess I'll find out when I use them. When the engine's totally completely together, I'm going to use uh, a polish and go over the entire engine, trying to do the best job I can. And these things get black as the ace of spades, and you can wash them out. Um, but it, it's you would be amazed. You say it was so black I can't use it. It still polishes. So I'm going to give that a try on the engine. I've been playing with two creams. Uh, one is a uh, semi-chrome polish, which I always thought was really, really good. It's expensive. Um, I mean, it can be used on any metal. And then I have this mag aluminum, Mother's mag aluminum. And to be honest, the, the Mother's does a fine job. Uh, I mean, I, I, if maybe a little bit better. This doesn't seem to cut as much. And uh, so that's just what I'm finding out out of experience is as good as it's going to get. Hey, this is Ken, CRNS Motorsports. Just wanted to take a quick second to remind you to like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, means a world of difference to us. And if you have a friend who might be interested in the video, please share it. So, you thank you very much, and let's get on with the show. Hey, this is Ken. Quick thing on painting. I'll keep this short. AccuSpray 3M system. It's removable tips. Extraordinarily easy to clean. Makes me look much better than what I am. Nice gun. Worth every penny of it. About 250 bucks. And for when I'm shooting primers and fillers and blacks and dark colors and something I don't want to use the good gun on, this thing is great. Easy to clean, save a fortune in solvent. Gotta have one. Primers. 
gotten to be a big fan of this Summit Primer. It's the epoxy DTM direct to metal and it doesn't have to go over bare metal but uh, it works very well. It dries quick, it sprays good, it doesn't run and it's sandable. I like it a lot. It's not that expensive. Last but not least, Eastwood. A rat rod black. A 2K system. So you got the paint and you got an activator. And the ratio is 1 to 3, I do believe. It lays very good. It's very thin paint, but it doesn't want to run. It lays really nice, and I just like the look of it. And it's, I'm happy with it. I'll buy it again. So I've bought it maybe three, four times so far. And uh, it's my go-to paint. When I need black, it's, it's very nice. Oils, preservatives. I told you in the intro about WD-40. Um, it's been around for as long as I've been alive. Not a bad product. It works well. I personally don't like the new metal nozzles they have. I'd rather have the old plastic straw, but I'm an old fart. Uh, it's just moisture displacement is the way they term it. It's made from various hydrocarbons developed for the space program, uh, standby, easy to get. I've become a fan of Marvel Mystery Oil, and I like, I get a, uh, a tippet, how you like that for a big word, bunch of hole in it, and when I buff nuts and bolts and everything, and I don't want them to go dull, I usually take, you know, I throw them in the palm of my hand and I'll take some drops, put it on there, rub them around, and it just uh, gives them protective coating. I like that. And if you, I've seen a video where a guy took a motorcycle rim that's all rusted and corroded and he sprays it down with Marvel Mystery Oil and comes back like two days later and wipes it down and half of the rust is gone. And so I'm thinking if it bites rust or bites rust, you can look at it either way, uh, I want it to be on my side. So I, the nuts and the bolts, I don't want to replace them, I want everything original. So while they're in the plastic bags and everything else, I coat them with oil. So I uh, wire wheel them, I buff them, and I coat them with oil, and then they're all stored and all labeled. And uh, I like this, and I like the little pippet idea. It works. It was an accent, and it really works out well. I watched a motorcycle video, a guy talking about how he uh, cleaned his heads and what worked for him. And uh, he was talking about this product, uh, ACF50, was the cat's meow, heat resistant, and, and you know, it was great, you know, once you get them clean, you keep them clean. I've been trying it, and I am not sold on it. I mean, I don't know what I paid for this thing, like 25 bucks on Amazon. Um, I don't think it's any different than WD-40. It's purple, but it kind of tinted a light purple. Uh, and it comes on, it's not like an aerosol, like paint, let's say. It's more like WD-40, a, a liquid. And uh, it doesn't dry, it just kind of coats it. So I, I can't see the difference between this and WD-40 other than it's purple. And, um, yeah, so. I'm not sure.